Today in the news, AMD might get you to spend more cash, and Nvidia gets ahead of AMD. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. So the company just released their last high-end chip for the desktop market on the AM4 platform, the 5800X3D. And yeah, while expensive, it is a great chip for gaming. But now it's time to think about the future, Zen 4 and Ryzen 7000. A couple of videos ago, leaker extraordinaire Graymon55 tweeted that AMD's next-gen I.O. chiplet, that's the big chip that takes care of memory and other subsystems, well, he tweeted that it did have the silicon to support DDR4 memory. Unfortunately, that didn't mean that it would be enabled in Ryzen 7000 compatible motherboards. And in the last couple of days, some leaks seem to confirm that it won't, or at least it won't at launch. This information comes from Tom's Hardware, and they've been in contact with motherboard manufacturers who told them that X670 and B650, these are the future motherboards, will only support DDR5 memory. Now, it's important to note that they left out a possible A620 chipset. You see, the AX20 boards have always had older technology built into them. For example, A520 doesn't even support PCIe Gen 4 at all, and most boards don't support overclocking. So it's possible that those A620 boards will support older DDR4 memory. The problem is that they're probably not going to be available at the launch of Ryzen 7000 CPUs. Just to give you an example, in the 500 series of motherboards, X570 was released in July of 2019, B550 was released in June of 2020, and A520 in August of 2020. In this case, it looks like X670 and B650 might release at launch, but no words on A620. It's also just possible that there will be no A620 boards at all. I mean, there wasn't an A420 board either, so I guess at this point, it's safe to say that AMD is hell-bent on a DDR5-only platform moving forward. So what does this mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, it just means that you'll likely have to pay at least double for your new memory kit, and if you actually want to get a tangible performance benefit, you're going to have to wait for higher DDR5 speeds, and those chips will probably also cost more. It sucks, but c'est la vie. So what do you guys think? Are you planning on upgrading as soon as Ryzen 7000 hits the shelves, or are you going to wait for DDR5 prices and speeds to go, well, up for the speeds and down for the prices before getting a Ryzen 7000 CPU? Or are you happy with what you have right now CPU-wise and plan to go all in for the GPU? Let me know down below. Speaking of GPUs, it looks like Nvidia might be using newer technology than what AMD will be using for the next generation of GPUs. So RDNA 3, AMD's RX 7000 series of gaming GPUs, has been confirmed to be using a combination of TSMC's 6 nanometers and 5 nanometer process nodes. Well, according to Moore's Law is Dead, Ada Lovelace, the RTX 4000 series of Nvidia GPUs, well, it would use TSMC's 4 nanometers process. So, okay, but what does this mean? Well, with smaller and smaller process nodes, you increase the number of transistors in the same surface area. This means you can get either a boost in performance or a more efficient chip, or you can have a balance of both. Looking at all of the rumors that we know about the RTX 4000 chip though, it looks like Nvidia is throwing efficiency out of the window. I mean, at 600 watts for the rumored RTX 4090, we can't really say that it's efficient. Also, it's pretty surprising that Nvidia would go for the bleeding edge, because this means that it would cost them more to manufacture. And also, since these chips are supposed to be monolithic, it means that they get no cost savings from a chiplet design. Now, I know it's a little too early to make one, but here is my prediction. I think that RTX 4000 might beat out AMD's RDNA 3 graphics in terms of performance, but since AMD is using a relatively older process node, 5 and 6 nanometers, and since they have the yield benefit of using chiplet technology for their GPUs, I think that the price to performance crown will still go to AMD. 
So what are your predictions in that front? Put them down below in the comments and we'll revisit this later this year. Lastly, you might have noticed that I haven't uploaded many videos in the last week or so. Well, that's because I had or still have, I'm not sure, COVID. Don't worry, I'm feeling fine. I just have some muscle weakness and a cough that won't quit, but I'm writing it out. Hopefully, you guys are all healthy. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.